sex therapy seemed like something only people with real issues needed. And then, a few years later, Vanessa and I were having those very real problems ourselves. I was putting in 60 plus hours a week at my job. I desperately wanted to be working less, but it felt like the only way to repay the company for the two rapid promotions I had just received was to keep saying yes to more projects. In the meantime, a combination of stress eating and complete lack of physical activity had started to reveal a figure in the mirror I didn't even recognize. In the little free time I did have, all I wanted to do was sit on the couch and watch TV. To be honest, I didn't even notice that my sex drive had disappeared until Vanessa started dropping hints that we weren't having very much sex. It felt like a dagger to my heart, like I was failing as a man, a man who was supposed to simultaneously have everything together and not ask for help if he didn't. After months and months of burying my head in the sand and trying to convince myself and Vanessa that things would somehow improve without actually making any real change in my life, it began to dawn on me that I had a choice to make. I could continue down the path I was on and likely lose the love of my life, or I could admit that I didn't have the answers and ask for some help.